So, when I came home from work, it was off. But when I left for work, it was on. So, yeah, uh, I guess the 48 hour part didn't happen. I think the batteries got too low. <laughs> and it shut off. It did pass the 36 hour mark because I leave for work at 3 and it was still on. Yeah, but I don't actually know when it shut off or how many hours or the actual voltage. Some people have said it is 40 volts, some have said 42 volts. I could probably just turn it back on and see when it shuts off since it's already dead. I'm already there, right? Right? <laughs> like, right? I don't know. So let's go check it out. Okie dokie. So when I came home, that is how it was sitting. Not looking too good. I'm guessing it probably got too low. So I'm going to check the battery voltage and see what it's at. Well, right now it's at 45.5. Um, average, what I'm seeing here is around 3.3 for pack voltage. I don't know, I guess I could just turn it on and see where it shuts off. I guess if it shuts off at 42 volts, then I don't know, that's math. Oh, I guess I have my, I have this piece of technology in my pocket called a smartphone. We'll say 42 divided by 14, and that is three volts per pack. So if it shuts off at 42 volts, it'll be three volts per pack. If it shuts off at 40, 40 divided by 14 equals 2.85. I don't think that's even ridiculous either because when we test the cells, I think they go down to 2.7. I don't think that'll be that bad. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and maybe we can find out where at least this one shuts off. What do you say? Should we do it? Let me grab a different multimeter with alligator clips. Probably didn't need that much. There we go. Oh, damn it. I didn't get to see it. Damn it, I was gonna try to check the packs on the other side. But I think one of the packs on the other side voltage was really low, so I'm not going to be doing that anymore. Let me check it. 2.64, holy crap. Okay, so I didn't get to see it, but I'll look at the, I don't want to call it a tape, but I'll look at the recording whenever this is all done. But this pack right here is a weak pack, so I might have to pull it out and see. Maybe some fuses are, are broken on it. Maybe whenever I was putting it together, I broke some or something. I'll have to check it to make sure. But this one got down to 2.65. And, and that's fine. That's what all this testing is about, to find out where the weak points are and hopefully fix it before it's a ready-to-go system. You like that tape job? Okay, I'm going to start at the top and just go back and forth to find out what all the voltages are of the pack. And this one right here is the weakest. Oh, I guess I need her. I need that too, huh? That is 3 3.20, 3.22, 3.27, 3.2, 3.0, 3.27, 3.2, 3.26, 3.26, 3.20, 3.27, 3.20, 3.27, and 2.76. So that bottom one, I might have to pull him out and see if there's any issues in that one. Okay, so what did we learn here? This shuts off at, I have a weak pack here. I just need to pull it out and check out what the problem is. They're, I guess, on this lower end, they're kind of out of balance. I did do a top balance on them whenever I did do the whole balancing thing. I could probably disconnect it all and balance them on the low end, but I don't know. I mean, it goes back and forth, top balance or bottom balance. I don't know. What do you guys think? Top balance or bottom? I'm probably going to get a 50-50 mix. So, ready, go. 
Okay, I reviewed the footage and it was 41.7 volts. That's not too bad, I guess, but that one pack is really, really low. I figured I would share it with you guys to let you know what is going on here. I'll probably pull that pack out and check all the fuses to make sure I didn't break any whenever I was connecting all the Anderson connectors and removing them and doing all that kind of stuff. And hopefully some of them are just broken and we're not making a good connection or whatever. So I'll find out and I will report back. Yeah, so I guess that's part of the whole idea about this is to find out what works and what doesn't work before it actually goes into service, if you want to call it that. And if anybody else can learn from my videos, I think that is awesome. And let me know what you guys think about the bottom balancing. Should I do that and try it or not? It seems like it's kind of split down the middle. A lot of people like bottom balancing and a lot of people like top balancing. I don't know, I just did a top balance because that's where all the batteries were at. Now that they're all low, I could do it at that voltage too. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. I think I got a hair. Yep. So yeah, uh, to, uh, we'll say, so, so I might, what? probably can't see that. Of course not. Yeah, that ain't gonna work either. Well, I might have to just get some tape. Tape will work if I put that like right there maybe. Uh, you're gonna fall off. There we go. I'll just tape it. Alright, so that's what we're gonna do with that guy. Just put him right there. And he's gonna bend down so you can't even see it. Let's see if I can tape him like right here. Hey, say hi. Say hi. And yeah. And yeah. So, and, uh, um, say, um.